By this time, mental health had become a major issue on the railway. We all suffered from depression. Men were taking their own lives. All along the railway, men cut their own throats, put their heads on the railway line, and simply walked into the jungle to die. Many developed the ATAP stare and just looked intently at the thatched roof of the hut. Death soon followed. Others went mad because of medical conditions caused by vitamin deficiencies, and some just gave up, losing their minds and their self-control. They would fight with anyone over nothing at all, throwing punches, biting, kicking. They needed to be controlled physically, but just could not be calmed down. It came to a point where something drastic had to be done to prevent innocent men being killed by deranged fellow prisoners, some of whom had reverted to animal instincts. The decision was made to build our own lunatic asylum to cage these poor souls. With the agreement of the Japanese, the burial party built two six-foot square bamboo cages. The madmen could stand or lie down in these just ten feet from my hut, and they had a bench to sit on. They received food and water, but sadly were largely ignored. At night, it was awful to hear them in the darkness jabbering and screaming, throwing themselves at the cages. The men who went in never came out alive. Death would have been welcome for them. It was a dreadful thing to see our fellow human beings caged like animals. But what else could we do? You know, as I was preparing for this, and a lot of times when I'm putting notes together, I'm thinking about some thing that I'm going to say, some comparable thing that I can bring back from some of my experiences, and I got nothing for you. <laughs> I got nothing yeah. for you. And this, this book is just like that. Mm. 